Hey y'all. So today we're gonna do a video where in an existing cluster, we're gonna go through and deploy ODF, which is a software defined storage solution. And then what we're going to do is actually deploy Cloud Pack for integration and IBM MQ and provision a Q manager instance into the cluster and look at the UI and place a sample message um, into the um, into the queue. At this point, our cluster is set up. So now what we're going to do is proceed to install the software defined storage layer, which will be ODF. So we'll go to satellite and locations. And we'll go to storage and we're going to create a storage config and we'll do ODF local. And we're going to choose OpenShift Data Foundation for local devices, 410. And then we'll keep the, um, you know, default cycles here. And what we can do is just upload a, um, the configuration here. So um, let me go ahead and do that real quick. there and then we can go to next and next and now we've um, defined the config and now we will assign that to the OpenShift cluster and then um, we'll watch that sort of deploy out so um, let's go ahead and do that awesome at this point, we'll see ODF is deployed and we can see that the pods are out there. All the OpenShift storage pods and we can see that PVCs are getting created and bound. So those are all good signs that ODF is all um, operational. So now what we'll do is um, we'll proceed to do the cloud pack installation now. So um, what we will do is follow the docs online. And a piece of that is the first piece is to get the um, catalog sources deployed. So we'll just do um, csource.yaml. Make sure we apply that. We'll do coup control apply dash F. what we'll look at here is ultimately we should see cloud pack for integration pop up so just give that a sec to um, fully run So we'll let that operator hub content get pulled.
give that a sec to let the um, content get gathered. Awesome. And we'll see Cloud Pack for integration here. So now we'll just go through and install that um, following the guide on the um, cluster that they set out. So we'll click install. And then we'll just give this some time to go through the entire install process and we'll check back. Awesome, and now we'll see that the um, Cloud Pack for integration got deployed. So we'll create a um, navigator here. Just make sure we accept the license and um, Make sure that we select a storage class here. And then we will create Oh, whoops. Yeah, and then we need to also create a namespace for um this to run in. So we'll do OC new project um CP4I. And we'll make sure that we actually deploy this into the CP4i namespace. So we'll just go through those steps again. And we'll create there. And then that will go ahead and get us the um, deployment in of CP4i in there that will then allow us to do um, some of the MQ installs and pieces like that as well. So Let's um, just give that some time to reconcile and come up and then we'll check back. While we're waiting for that to install, we can also go in and get um, MQ installed. So we'll go to the MQ operator, install that on the namespaces and let that roll. Awesome. We'll make sure that's successful. 
Let that fully install, and then we can create a um, queue manager in that. Okay, awesome. Now we got that installed. So now what we can do is um, create a queue manager. Make sure we get the license accepted. We use default parameters there. Um, we'll make sure that we use a persistent claim and then we'll select the um, storage app here. Um, and we'll give it a 50 gigabyte claim here. And that should get us everything that we need. So let's like just check back over here. Yep, that's looking good. So we will go ahead and create that instance. And then what we'll see shortly is um, a MQ instance and PVC actually get defined. Yep. And then if we look at the pods, we'll actually have a um, MQ instance pop up soon and then we'll have that deployed and then what we can look at is um, the integration with CP4i and how we can view the details um, of the um, message queue and manage it throughout that system awesome and now we have everything installed so now we can just do a quick look through of the um pieces so we'll start at the cp for d ui and then we can look at our message queue or yep our message queue or mq instance And we can look at the um, queues that we have. And you know, we can type in create some messages here. And then we can proceed to, um, you know, download connection files and do um, anything else you might want to do with MQ. So um, hopefully that helps. And um, from there, and we'll see I can download, you know, an MQ connection file as well. So that um, gives like a quick overview and for more details, um, just hop on into the cluster and, you know, look around.